Aaron James here, and I was going to do a really quick video on uh, sort of a how-to on pencil roving. I had a request from my Facebook group, uh, Handspun Yarn Love, that somebody had been given some pencil roving, and they wanted to know what to do with it. And um, I asked them, and they said they had a drop spindle. So that's what I was going to do the demo on, was because I was trying to uh, be helpful <laughs> to the person who'd asked. So anyway... This is pencil roving. It's awesome. I actually don't have very much of it. I just happen to have this on hand. It's already, uh, it's pre-drafted. So, like, I mainly get my fiber for my yarns and, like, the big dyed braids. And then I sit down and, like, pull them all into a bunch of little strips to end up with this. So this has already saved you a lot of work by it already being pre-drafted. And what pre-drafted means is just when you're spinning, drafting is when you're pulling it that way. To, you know, make it thinner and then you're getting your twist in it. So by already having it pre-drafted, you're just going from something this size to yarn <laughs> instead of something that's like big and then having to get it down to this size to then get, get to yarn. So it just kind of saves you a step. And pencil roving, like I said, it's generally already in strips for you and it's about, you know, the size of your pinky. So that's what I was starting on uh, today. So I think uh, I'm going to have to move the camera so you can actually <laughs> see the drop spindle, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is kind of assuming you sort of know what you're doing with a drop spindle. I've already got, uh, you know, I had my leader thread on here that I established a twist in by spinning it, you know, hooking it around the hook and then spinning it. And then I've attached the pencil roving onto that. And then uh, just you get your twist, and then this is drafting. You can see as I'm pulling it out, and then the twist will run up. Oh, it got too long there. When it gets long, you have to take it and uh, twist it back around here. I have short arms, so I'm like constantly. That's why I prefer a spinning wheel, is I'm constantly having to uh, shorten it. But uh, get the twist going, and then you just get it up there. And then let's see. To draft on another piece, get your twist going, and twist, and then you just join on that other piece and let your twist continue to travel up your yarn. And that, you just like I said, you can see I've got kind of a single ply of, I'd say like DK weight yarn there. And you, that's what you do with it. You just, but it saves you a lot of trouble. Like I said, especially since uh, drop spindling is kind of labor intensive anyway. There you go. Of having to do that, and then you just draft this last little bit out. Let the twist travel up, and that's all you're doing is you're letting the twist travel up, and then you can kind of dock it under your armpit. <clears throat> that's a good pro tip there, <laughs> and. Uh, you're just getting, because you don't want your twist to, you know, start going back the other way. So you load up the twist around the hook and get it going. And let it twist up in there. And if you want like a thicker yarn, if you're newer to drop spindling, you can pretty much just not, since it's already pre-drafted, just let the twist run up the, uh, I, I may actually be making this look harder than it is. With pencil roving, you just, all you got to do is get the twist in there. So if you're not, like I said, I'm used to a spinning wheel where I'm really pulling it out thin. You see, that's a nice there, like worsted weight yarn. Worsted to, like, heavy worsted. And I'm not even really having to draft the pencil roving at all to achieve that. I do have a funny bump right there. There you go. Get rid of the funny yarn booger. But that's just literally the pencil roving exactly as it is with twist in it, with no drafting. Like, that's just the way it comes out. And as you see, that's super pretty. And, uh, you know, it, that's, uh, like, worsted to bulky weight. So, um, yeah, if you're new to spinning or drop spindling or pencil roving, you can totally make some really pretty yarn, um, you know, while you're learning the uh, the technique of getting the spin going. So I would actually, I hadn't thought about that before, pencil roving would be a great thing to use uh, to learn with a drop spindle. This is my drop spindle, it's really pretty. So anyhow, I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll post this to my group right away. Thanks!